Welcome everyone, this is Megan Hagedorn from the Marks Group Live. Excited to be here today teaching working with subforms in Zoho CRM. After this training is over, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject. Please be sure to rate this class as well. It's going to help out your fellow Zoho users and allow us to improve the video library. So here are some of the points we'll be discussing today. First, subforms are separate tables within a record. You can add a subform to a layout in the layout customization area. Subforms allow you to view data from different modules, so we can actually add a lookup field to a subform and then access all of the fields within that module that we selected from the lookup field. Finally, subforms can contain aggregate calculations. So if we have some sort of numeric value in the subform, um, we can actually sum or average it or find the max or min value there. So let's get rocking with this. We're going to go over to our setup area by clicking the wrench and screwdriver in the upper right corner. And then we're going to go to modules and fields. Next we're going to go to accounts for this um, test and then we're going to open up our test layout. So to add a subform, all you need to do is click on the subform button on the left and drag it into your layout. I'm going to call this stakeholders test and then from here we're actually going to add some fields. So first we're going to add a lookup field. call it stakeholder name, and then we get to select the module that the lookup field is accessing. So we're going to click contacts, and then we're going to click add field again, and when we do that you're going to see that we've got our new field option, so we can create a new field here, or we can select fields of lookup module and access all of the available fields for the contact module via stakeholder name our lookup field that we just added. So from here I'm going to add email, um, we're going to add phone, mobile, that works. And then we're going to add a new field called amount, where's our We'll do currency. And that's all fine. And as soon as we add some sort of numeric field, we have the option to add an aggregate field. I'm going to call this um, total amount. And we have the option to select sum, average, max, or min. I'm going to leave it as sum for this. And then we can select the number of decimal places as well. And then the field that we want to act on. I'm going to save this. Okay. And we're going to back out to the accounts module. And I'm going to actually add the layout to this view because I want to be able to see, since we added that subform to the test layout. Um, I want to make sure we're opening a account with the correct layout. All right, so we're going to open Weather Company. And we know we have a contact in John Black. And we're, you know what, he's a stakeholder. So we need to add him to our stakeholders test subform. 
I'm going to click edit so we can edit our record. And then we can start typing in here. As soon as I select John Black, his information, he doesn't have a mobile in his contact record, but any information from the contact module or from whatever module you selected for this lookup field, um, it's going to pop up automatically immediately um, just when you select the lookup name here. And we're going to say 5000. And then we can click Add Row to add additional contacts. I'm going to try to pick somebody who has some information. Let's see if Corey has stuff. There we go. So we've got Corey's email here. Ne neither of these guys have their mobiles in the contact um, record. I'm going to say 5,000 there. And you're going to notice that the total amount here updated to 10,000 as soon as we added that second value. So we have our total amount displayed right under the, the subform. When we click Save, um, click Analyst. That's just flagging me that there was an empty required field. All right. So when we scroll back down to our stakeholders test subform, we're going to see our stakeholder name and their email. And when we hover over, you're going to see that they, in fact, do not have a mobile, um, but they do have their email, which was displayed immediately as soon as we added the name of the contact. All right, so to summarize, subforms are separate tables within a record. Um, you can use them for adding equipment, um, adding products, adding stakeholders or contacts, um, buildings, whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, it allows you to add a separate table within a record. Again, we added that from the layout customization area. Subforms can also allow us to view data from different modules. When we add a lookup field to a subform, it allows us to access all of the fields for that module that we just added via the lookup field. In our example today, we added a lookup to the contact module, and then we were able to grab fields from that contact module in the subform. Finally, subforms can contain aggregate functions. So if you have some sort of number field added to the subform, you can take the sum, average, max, or min of that, or you can add a totally different function um, using that functions tab when you click aggregate field. So I hope you've enjoyed our class today. Um, I hope it was helpful for you. So please check out our video of a library for other tips and training videos just like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes or how to adjust this class topic, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. You can also email us for questions about this video or any other questions you might have about Zoho at Marksgroup, support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks so much for watching.